Ugh. Sometimes it's hard to feel nostalgic about your youth because a lot of it was probably faked by acne. Or maybe it feels like you never left high school because you are still struggling with it well into adulthood. And what's worse, you probably don't fully understand what acne is either. So let's fix that today, shall we? Common acne, or acne vulgaris as your doctor calls it, is a chronic inflammatory skin condition characterized by bumps and lesions above and beneath the skin. The most simplistic way to describe a zit is to say that it's a clogged pore. But you're not a simple person, and neither am I. So we're gonna hit you with the 411. And maybe have a bucket nearby because it might get a little gross. Our skin is covered in pores. They're the tiny holes in the surface of your skin that are connected to oil glands by hair follicles. You can't feel it, but our skin is in a constant cycle of regenerating skin cells through our pores, thanks to the oily liquid that glands produce called sebum. The sebum does its job of carrying your dead skin cells up through the follicles to the surface of the skin, where they're usually swept away and out of your life forever. However, sometimes our glands get a little overzealous with producing sebum, and this excess oily stuff ends up sticking to the dead skin cells, creating a buildup of nastiness that's trapped inside the pores. Now, this very delicious sounding recipe of sebum and dead skin cells and bacteria can vary for a whole host of reasons, leading to a number of different kinds of acne blemishes. Let's start with the least intense blemishes, which are categorized as non-inflammatory acne. There are old frenemies, whiteheads and blackheads. Whiteheads usually have a white circular center surrounded by a red halo. Blackheads, on the other hand, are blackish in color surrounded by normal looking skin. Even though white and blackheads are the most common kinds of zits and are certainly very annoying, they aren't going to ruin your day like inflammatory acne can. Inflammatory acne involves blemishes or lesions that are red, swollen, and warm or painful to the touch. And they are more likely to cause scarring or pitting. In order from, that's pretty bad, to, oh my god, what's happening to my face? We have papule. They're basically a zit without a clear center to it. These guys come about when a white or blackhead becomes so irritated that it damages the skin surrounding it. Then there's pustules. These meanies have a defined circular center that is filled with whitish or yellowish pus made from the immune cells and bacterial cells. They're basically very angry versions of whiteheads with weirder insides. Next are nodules. They look like papules because they have no visible center, but they are lumpier and found deeper in the skin. This is when dark spots or scarring can become a real problem. And finally, the deepest, biggest, most severe type of blemish, cysts. These monsters are filled to the brim with pus, and even after the pus is extracted, they can fill up again and again, which is why cystic acne is the most common cause of permanent acne scars. At this point, you might even need to get a light surgical procedure done to remove the entire cyst, which I can guarantee is no fun whatsoever. If at this point in the video, you're openly weeping like I was just before we started filming, find solace that you are not alone. Moreover, nobody really knows exactly why we get acne. There isn't just one single reason or cause, just like there isn't one single cure for it all. Of course, over the years, medical professionals have been able to hone in on a couple of likely factors. Like I said earlier, teens got zits. And that's probably because when we go through puberty, our sebaceous glands activate. There's also those raging teen hormones, and one in particular, androgen, rises considerably during puberty, which causes those oil glands to grow and produce more sebum. But what about if your beautiful blossoming into adulthood was like a long time ago? Well, then your acne could be because of your family's genetics, or you live in a particularly hot or humid region, or you regularly experience too much stress or anxiety, or your menstrual cycle is all over the place, or you use too much oil-based makeup, or you've been bad and squeezing your pimples. I mean, really, take your pick, because your guess is as good as anyone else's. Also, let's put a very common myth to bed for good. Acne is not merely caused by eating too much chocolate or by not washing your face enough. In fact, if you wash your face too much, you're stripping away some essential oils and bacteria that actually help prevent acne. Myth, you busted. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, acne is the most common skin condition in the United States, affecting up to 50 million Americans every year. So the next time you're freaking out about that zit that of course arrives right before you have to take your yearbook picture, or right before that big job interview or sexy date, just remember that everyone else has been there and won't judge you nearly as much as you judge yourself. If you have a particularly mean blemish, your dermatologist will know what to do.